guys, it's Sam and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today is Friday and today I'm going to do the prediction show for Phoenix. But first we have to talk about L-A-S-V-E-G-A-S. -E Last week at Las Vegas we saw Kyle Busch and Joey Logano. They had a big fight. It was exciting. I I'm, not, I'm not mad at either one of them. Obviously you guys know that Kyle's my favorite. And usually a driver that fights with your favorite driver, you, you don't like them, but I still like Logano because I've always liked Logano. And honestly, I feel like it was just a racing situation. He didn't like how Kyle raced him, and then he came down and gave him a bump, and then obviously more happened than he expected. So, you know, I, I'm not mad at Logano. I'm not mad at Kyle. I, I think they could have handled it better, but, you know... I'm not mad at either one of them. We saw Kevin Harvick, he had his incident. Martin Shooks Jr. ended up winning the race. He was the one that I predicted. He dominated the race, led all three stages, won all three stages. He's the first driver in NASCAR to do that so far. Which I actually thought it would have taken, like, years for someone to do that. Because it, it took, like, you know, till 2010 for someone to sweep a weekend with three races. It took till just last year. For someone to win both poles in a weekend in both races. That was Kyle Busch who did that. And Kyle Busch actually got both those awards. So I thought it would have taken like years for someone in NASCAR to finally sweep, you know, like all three stages. But, you know, it, it took him three weeks to do it. So it's pretty amazing. Now let's talk about Phoenix. Now Phoenix is this Sunday and it is going to be an exciting race. I think they've made some changes to Phoenix a little bit. So I think that's going to really you know, up the excitement and how the racing's gonna be happening. I'm, I'm excited to see that. You know, we could have some different winners this this year, but I honestly think it's gonna be kind of the same. For this week, I'm gonna predict that, you know, there's gonna be a lot of excitement, a lot of wrecks, obviously. That's what we've seen in the past at Phoenix. You know, that dog leg at the back stretch that you just cut through, it's gonna cause some trouble. Now, I remember last year, Joey Logano and Kyle Busch were battling it out. Joey Logano ended up winning the race but Kyle Busch had to like finish second to get into the final round of the chase. It was very exciting. I remember last year's race, the fourth race of the season last year, I took the dangerous route and I predicted that Kyle Busch was gonna win the race because he sat on pole for the race. And obviously I was giving myself some confidence for you know, Kyle Busch winning, but it didn't work out. Kevin Harvick won. I should have picked that one. Kevin Harvick has not won the fall race the last two years, though, so, you know, he used to dominate, like, win every race there, but he's not winning the fall races anymore. I think 2015 was because it was rain-shortened, and then 2016, he just wasn't doing good. Overall, I really do think that Kevin Harvick is going to win. You know, there's not been qualifying yet, so we can't really see how he started. We've seen practices, and Chase Elliott won practice, but... I think that Kevin Harvick is going to win this weekend. Who do you guys think will win? Put that down in the comment section below. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Stay strong, guys. Have a fantastic day today, and I will see you later.